welcome back to another episode of What's the Business? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, your home for interviews industry wise with local business owners, entrepreneurs, actors, actresses, sports figures, anybody and everybody in between, maybe even artists. And your home for some of the best musical guests that you've ever seen every single week, right here. Saturdays, 2 p.m. That's how we get down right on youtube.com slash soulco for show. I'm in the house today with my industry interview. That's right, the most amazing photographer you have ever seen in your life, baby. Christopher Otto. O-T-T-O. Don't get it twisted, all right? Christopher Auto Photography is where you need to go. If you need anything done, don't matter if it's portraits, don't matter if it's landscapes, don't matter if it's black and whites, maybe you need some baby pictures, maybe you need some wedding photos, anything like that, it don't matter. He can do it all and anything in between. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the head of Christopher Auto Photography, my main man, Chris Auto. What's the business? Thank you, thank you. What's that, man? What's going on? I like this little segment. How you doing? You like this? You like we're doing it? It's we're good. doing it big right here. This is good. I like it. Yeah, we're doing it big. This ain't the radio show anymore. And this is not the radio show. This no, is, it's not. This is definitely a step up. I like it. All right. <laughs> so what's happening, man? Talk to me. Uh, not too much. Tell people man. where they can find you at. Tell everybody, you know, where they can find out more about what's going on with the company and what you do, and uh, you know, kind of just how you got started in it and what makes you want to take pictures. So my website start out is www.seattlephoto.com. Um, right there you can go see my whole portfolio. I have portraits up, I have landscapes that are for sale, just kind of anything that you want to know about me. I have a little bio section. Uh, my Instagram, you can go there. I take a lot of pictures with my iPhone or I have a bunch of pictures I've uploaded with my camera. Um, that's Yeah Buddy LTD. Um, I'm sorry, yeah. what? Yeah Buddy LTD. Yeah, buddy, living the dream. Yeah, <laughs> so that that, that's your Instagram. That's my Instagram. And then, uh, yeah, buddy. If you want to search me on Facebook, it's uh, Chris Auto Photography. So those are the places you can find me. I didn't mean to leave out the LTD, just so everybody knows. I didn't mean to just say yeah, buddy. So living the dream. Yeah, buddy, LTD. Hello, he's living the dream. <laughs> Boom. What's you can't be anything, anything else, but if you take pictures, you're living the dream, right? You're living in the South Bay. You're taking pictures. You have to be living the dream. Right on, man. Now, I know you also have a distinct background in a whole different field. Can we talk about that for a second? Well, we could. I mean, I like to stick to the, the photography in most part, but yeah. Okay. I mean, you, right. did, you, you did used to save lives. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's no small thing, but you know, if you don't want to get into that, then we're all good. Yeah, I do so, a little fire right, stuff on the side, but we'll, we'll, we'll go. He's used to, you know, like... Uh, Put out fires and <laughs> save grandmas and and like cats that were burning inside of buildings and stuff like that. But we'll leave all that alone. Okay. Now he just saves lives and has <laughs> sick ass tattoos. <laughs> Speaking of which, you are a tattoo. Uh, you are quite the tattoo fan, are you not? I do. I am. I am. You are. How many tattoos do you have? I don't know. I'd have to count. Hold on, let's ask somebody else over here. There's a beautiful lady over here who came with you. She's over here filming on the side. She's over here on the iPhone. How many tattoos does he have? Too many to count. They're all over his body. Oh. Probably have like... You can strip him down if you want. <laughs> I'm sure... It's okay. I'm but... sure you've already seen what that landscape looks like. Um, so We're talking about different landscapes Getting here, back right? to the point... No, getting back to the point, ladies and gentlemen. So, you are a uh, obviously a color fan, I see. Yes. Can we just get the arm? Let's get one arm. Okay. Show everybody so. one arm. Show everybody one arm. Look at all that color. Uh, Look at that. Arm. Look at that. All right. So. And it goes, goes further than that. Are you one of those people who proclaim to say the tattoos don't hurt? No, I will say that every tattoo I've ever gotten hurts. Uh, some hurt more than others. Um, they but, all hurt. Just so you know, everybody, <laughs> they, all, but, they all hurt. But the I, got point, huge, I got huge tattoos. They all hurt. But it's the art and the gratification you get after a tattoo that actually really matters. So okay. kinda, I, I love anything that expresses art, you know, obviously Word. through photography or through drawing or through tattoos or anything like that. So okay. I'm definitely a proprietor for, you know, any artwork. Okay. What is the best part about photography? I think looking at something that would someone would see every day 
Mm -hmm. So say the last thing I went out, I went out two days ago and I just shot the Manhattan Beach Pier. Mm -hmm. And how many people would they see that? Hundreds of thousands probably. They come by, guests, you know, visitors, everything. People that see it work at the pier, everything. But being able to capture a picture that someone sees every day in a unique way where someone can look at that picture and say, wow, that is an amazing picture on something that I have seen a hundred times but it never looked at it in that aspect. I think that is a great thing to do. And that comes mm -hmm. with just being able to like look at something and, and think of it in a different way. And that's not, I don't think that's something that comes maybe natural to everyone, but uh, it's something that you can work at. I don't think that I was necessarily naturally talented at taking pictures. I think that it just took time to be able to look at something and say, okay, what's a different way I can look at this, this, some, this peer that I've looked at so many different times? And so I think that's like the beautiful thing about photography is being able to take something that someone will look at every day and give them an awe factor at that. Okay. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be right back with a little bit more with Chris Otto, the head, the founder of Christopher Otto Photography. Website one more time. www.seattlephoto.com seattlephoto.com and I will see all of you automatically right after these messages here on What's the Business. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Rachel Lynn Sebastian. You can find me everywhere online at rachellynnsebastian.com. And so cool, this is What's the Business. Stop playing around 
And I got a funny way to keep my little feet on the ground And look at what's going on I can't afford to keep pretending my troubles are gone I gotta listen, cause wisdom is near I gotta clean all that bullshit and dirt from my ears And live and learn from it all I gotta know that as an angel I'm one step from falling I'm one step from About to do a dirty deed to damage any dollar decent karma left. I'm sick of sinning, sick of sitting still, and sick of selling short of being my best. It's over trading, all the waiting and debating. No one to blame drives a girl ligging insane. But in the end, you'll have a friend to recommend advice, and she'll save you the pain when she says, You just got to stop playing the right. You gotta find a way to keep your little feet on the ground And look at what's going on You can't afford to keep pretending your troubles are gone You gotta listen, cause wisdom is near You gotta clean up that bullshit and dirt from your ears And live and learn from it all You gotta know that as an angel you're one step from falling You're one step from Oh, I know I've been bad So bad Yes, I have Oh, I know I've been bad You better leave me alone Leave me alone Oh, you bring back the fearless, relentless temptress For which I'm no You just got to stop playing around, yeah And I've got to look at what's going on I've got to listen, cause wisdom is near I gotta clean all that bullshit and dirt from my ears And live and learn from it all I gotta know that as an angel I'm one step from falling, yeah I know I've been bad.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to What's the Business? Right here, your main man, Soul Cole, broadcasting live and direct from Hermosa Beach. And I am here with this week's musical guest, the one and only, the immaculate, the amazing, possibly the raven, Rachel Lynn Sebastian. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is, right here, hanging out on the couch in the lounge. Rachel, what's the business? What's the business? Being connected with with everybody here and um, loving on you right now, so cool. Oh, you're too sweet. So what's happening with you? Um, right now, I uh, just got off tour and I'm looking at potentially going on contract to Beijing. But um, more importantly to my fans, I'm looking at starting my third record. So mm. that's exciting. Wow. Yeah. Right on, right on. Thank you. Cool. Now, tell us a little bit about your uh, international travels, because you have been all over the world yeah. performing. Thank tell, you. tell us a little bit about that. What's the business? <laughs> uh, well, in the past three years, I've definitely done the most touring I've ever done in my life. I did a 29-state, uh, six-month U.S. tour by mm. myself, um, Damn. rolling around in my Toyota Camry like a rock star. And I did uh, two months in Europe and um, then was called over to be the featured artist at MGM Grand in Macau, China. Wow. Yeah. So speak any Chinese now? I speak a little Cantonese, meaning like three words, but um, I can get by. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Now, what is the best thing to eat in China? Because everybody here in the U.S., you know, oh, I love Chinese food. Got but it. all that Chinese food is bullshit. Got it. Because I guarantee you, whatever we're getting here in them little white cardboard boxes, it don't taste nothing like what's really there in China. Exactly. So what's, what's really happening in China? What is really some of the best food that's over there? All right. That's a great question. Hit me. Uh, right now, I'm vegan. But when I was over there, I wasn't. So uh, the best food is definitely super fresh dim sum. Mm. And also what they call Chinese hot pot. Well, they don't call it Chinese hot pot. We do. And basically, there's this um, simmering bowl in the middle of a table, almost like in a Korean barbecue, but it's a bowl of broth. Mm. And then they bring you all these fresh ingredients that you order, whether it's meats or vegetables and spices. And you make your own um, soup, like right there at the table. Wow. Yeah, it's the bowl. Really? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Now, uh, tell everybody out here, first of all, like, you know, where you're from. I you know, where, you, am, where you came from, yeah. how you got into this music thing. Got it. You know, how you got into so just Give us the whole background bio thing. What's, okay. What's the business? <laughs> I am originally from rural Oregon, um, in northeast Oregon on the Columbia River, in a little town called Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. Oregon, Oregon. Yeah, it's right across the river from Washington, Washington. Oregon, Oregon. Next to Washington, Washington. That was a joke. Are you making it? Okay, good. Because this was really starting to sound like like a, a child's like storybook or something like that. <laughs> Irrigant Oregon. Is yes, that real? That's real. Is that ir- that's, that's real. That's really real? That's when real. When I lived there, there In my ear, Irrigant Oregon Irrigan, is real. Oregon. When I lived there, there was only 1,200 people. Shout out to Irrigan. Shout out. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Irrigan. Anybody uh, in the crowd from Irrigan? No, I didn't think yeah, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stop lying, bro. Yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. But Keep going. I, um, I've always known that I was going to be a rock star. And, uh, yeah. You sure as hell are. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. So I moved down here uh, to, to Southern California in 2003. Mm-hmm. And one step at a time, you know, I always tell even the artists that are just coming up now that I mentor, you know, I just tell them that there is absolutely nothing that can stop you but you. It's all about patience. And uh, Bill, Weather, Bill, Bill Weathers said to me um, a couple months ago, I saw him at the ASCAP conference, and I got on the mic and I asked him a question. And his response was, he said, it's not up to you whether people will like your music. He said, your job is to make good music, put it out there, and let the world decide. You're talking about the the Bill, Bill Weathers, yeah. You know, sunshine when she's gone. Yeah. 
Only darkness every day. That Bill Williams? Ain't no sunshine when, when she's, she's gone. gone. She's, she's always, always gone, gone too long. Anytime, Anytime she, she goes, goes away, away. <laughs> all the way to Beijing. Yeah. Th that Bill Withers, really? What? That, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. No, no love from the crowd, really? Like, we just fucking we just sang live on the show, really? My voice even cracked, really? And I'm, I'm owning it. Like, <laughs> that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> all right, cool. We'll be right back. Listen. I got one final question to ask you Perfect. for your interview, okay? But ladies and gentlemen, keep it locked right here. This is What's the Business. I got the amazing, internationally acclaimed Rachel Lynn Sebastian. Check out rachellynnsebastian.com. That's Rachel, L-Y-N-N, -N, Sebastian with an I-E-N, if I'm not mistaken. I-A-N. I-A-N, yeah. excuse me, whatever. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Again, I told y'all earlier, the school was never my strong suit when I was younger. All right? But we'll be right back here on What's the Business. Here on What's the Business. I am hanging out with Rachel Lynn Sebastian, our musical guest for today. We already heard one amazing number, but now it is time to present her with her featured individual cocktail. That's right. Handcrafted by our on-set celebrity mixologist, the one and only Sultry Sarah. Now this is for you, Miss Rachel Lynn Sebastian. Wow. Now see what that tastes like. I will cheers with you. Oh my god. Fantastic and perfecto. Perfecto! Cheers! Salud! Salud! I thought she was going to say something Chinese, but apparently not. All right. Mmm. Now look here. Before we get you back up on stage to do your second number for today, I want to know How many people are the largest number of people that you have performed for internationally? Got it. I performed in front of two or three thousand people in um, Ho Chi Minh City, which is um, in Vietnam, Saigon. Shout out to Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. And it was for the Asian Indoor Games. Okay. In 2009. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And now, last question. 
Now, years ago, you were on my radio show. Mm -hmm. You may recall this being asked of you in the past. But I always love to ask musicians a couple of things. Because everybody watching wants to know what musicians think about other musicians. Favorite musician contemporarily right now, go. My favorite musician of all time is Tracy Chapman, and I can't back out Tracy Chapman. Okay, very <laughs> Contemporary cool. Contemporary or not, she's my girl. Last thing you downloaded. Last thing I downloaded was um, a karaoke track <laughs> for a wedding. Ain't no wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> What was it? It was um, this beautiful acoustic version of um, Bruno Mars, uh, Locked Out of Heaven. Oh, wow. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Okay, and last but not least, dream gig in your whole life, your whole existence. Hold on. I got this. Who you could have either open for you or you could open for. Okay. Or whatever. Okay. Either way. Got it. Where it would be and why that venue. Well, Let's go. since I What's I've, the business? Since I've been envisioning this for like 10 years, <laughs> that was such a perfect question. Uh, I will be co-headlining with you two mm. at the Gorge Amphitheater in Washington State. Really? And it is, as far as I'm concerned, the best venue in the world. It's gorgeous. It's near to where I grew up, so it feels like home. It's out in the middle of the desert, but it's overlooking a gorge, which is obviously, there's a gorgeous river underneath. And seats about, I think, 10,000 10, people in the amphitheater. And the sun sets over the back of the stage. It's just hmm. picture perfect. Did not see that coming. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not see that coming. This is the amazing, the one and only, Rachel Lynn Sebastian. Thank you so much for being here on another episode of What's the Business. Are you ready to get back on stage? Yeah, let's do it. I heard you got a real heartfelt song for that second performance. Oh, yeah. I'm about yeah? to give it to you. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm an emotional dude. I don't know. I might, you know, I might get a little chucked up over here. Y'all might have to keep the cameras away from Soul Cole if she gets real heartfelt. Okay? You ready to go? Let's do it. All right. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, she'll be back right after this with her second performance here on What's the Business? What's up, everybody? I just want to tell you a little about this song. I worked in Korea for about six months and dated a man there. And I wrote this song after I found out that he was married. It's a very special song. Down, 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 down. Don't touch me, don't say my name, don't bother with your 
Lying games I will never let you love me again I don't care what you're going through I don't even know what I'm gonna do I will never let you love me again Now sing with me Hallelujah The truth came to light You never even saw it coming Did you tell me how long How long How long did you think you could I Don't you speak Don't Free your mind, don't say what you don't mean Cause I ain't got time I will never let you love me again How don't you try your psychology I don't misunderstand Don't you play games with me I will never let you love me again Now sing with me Hallelujah The truth came to light You never even saw it coming Did you tell me how long, how long, how long Did you think you could You messed with my life, my love, my trust I showed you my world You asked me to give it up And all the time you were living a lie Hiding a wife, sacred to side You were sharing my love with The realness is right I miss you, I hate you, I love you Resent you, I need you, want you, can't be without you. I will never let you love me now again. Now, won't you sing with me? Now, sing with me. Now sing with me, hallelujah The truth came to light Yes, now sing with me, oh I can hear you, I can hear you I can hear you Sing with me Truth came to light You never even saw it coming Did you? Now tell me how long How long How long Did you think Don't you touch me. I'm Chuck Wilson. I've been selling real estate here in the greater South Bay area for 30 years. One thing that I've learned 
buyers want to see a prospective property in its entirety with my company, Studio 637 and Real Estate of South Bay, we can shoot the highest quality video, not only a room to room tour of your home, but from a bird's eye perspective. This will get the buyers in the market wanting to come and see your home. Studies have shown that professional video will hold a buyer's attention twice as long as photos and text alone, increasing your property's visibility on search engines like Google and Yahoo. These are the sales leads we need to achieve the highest possible price for your property. We are back here on What's the Business? I'm in the house with the amazing, the one and only Chris Otto, of course, the head of Christopher Auto Photography, cauto.com, correct? cautophoto.com. cautophoto.com, all right? Now, we got a little bit more to talk about with this young man before he gets out of here. And I want to ask you, first of all, to try a little bit of something that is called the snapshot. I'd love to. And it's been handcrafted individually for you as Chris Otto, the photographer, by our amazing in-house on-set celebrity mixologist. Excellent. Tell me how does the snapshot taste? Delicious. Because Sultry it. Sarah knows what she's doing. She I'm does. just saying. She, she this knows. Isn't my, this isn't my first drink from Sultry Is Sarah. It? Is it? Well, it's not. I know. No, it's not. But it's definitely one of the best, I'll have to say. It is? Yes, it is. That is one of the best. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Well, cheers. cheers. Cheers to being on What's the Business. Thank you for having me. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now. Mm. That is pretty good. All right. I just tried it too. And I want to know, before we get out of here, what are the four best places you would like to shoot? internationally I would like to know four locations around the globe to be on cautophoto.com well that's hard to say um, there's so many night there's so many nice places obviously uh, what I kind of like to get out as out of the normal tourist areas and maybe go into um, you know some of the undiscovered areas the more uh, local areas like Poughkeepsie Sure. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> so, uh, actually, there's. Um, you want to go to Roanoke, Virginia? Does that, that sound good? I'm not saying. Because I well, guarantee that, you that fucking Denny's in Roanoke? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Well, there's yeah. there's actually a place that uh, they'll take you. There's actually. A, uh, Sorry to anybody in Roanoke. <laughs> I bet you got some fat yeah. bitches in Denny's. <laughs> and that's for... <laughs> Moving on. Moving that's on. for the blooper reel. Go ahead. Moving on. So, um, I really haven't gone out of the country to shoot too much. I went to Australia, shot a little bit. Um, but I've done like kind of major cities inside of the United States. Uh, outside the United States, there's actually... A website that I found that will take they take tour, uh, people from the United States out of the United States to go to like the kind of more secluded areas, um, more like India or you know seeing the more like um, more local events that go on there that is mm. kind of really isn't seen. So um, there's so many different places. China would be great. You know, India would be great. Uh, Australia would love to go to like more secluded areas and like shoot there. So. Uh, Brazil would be awesome anywhere you know so it, it just all depends um, kind of like wh where I would love to go it's kind of just I mean shooting anywhere the, you know, other than the United States or anywhere in your backyard is great but you know I am blessed to live in the South Bay live in Los Angeles where there's so many places to shoot so there's never a there's always a plethora of places to shoot so um, I'm definitely blessed in that aspect nice and as our final question I'm going to give you Couple of names. I need you to tell me what is going to be the setting of their shoot that you do. Okay, but just got to be quick. All right. Okay, it's got to be bang, instant. 
Okay? All right. You ready? I'm ready. Lightning round, ladies and gentlemen, right here on What's the Business <laughs> to end our interview with Chris Otto, the head of Christopher Auto Photography. Chris Auto Photo. Down camera. Now look here. Ready? I think I'm ready. Slash. It's gotta be on stage, right? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. Snakes and shit. You know, something like that. Oh, you're saying what? Britney what? Spears. Uh, I don't know. School? Eh, too long. School? <laughs> God, I thought he was going to be much better at this. <laughs> I haven't thought about where I'm going to shoot Britney Spears at. Eddie Murphy! Uh, <laughs> uh, God damn you, Matt. I don't know. All right. <laughs> All right. I really haven't thought of where I'm going to shoot Minnie Spears. Tom Cruise! Uh, jumping out of an airplane. Jamie Foxx! Playing football. There we go, playing football. And Lil Cool J. Uh, on stage with a mic. Kanye West. Uh, airport pulling someone's uh, camera out. Kim of Kardashian. House. Yelling at Kim Conway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for everybody from the side. Yeah, thank you for the audience. They have much That's better awesome. answers than I do. I'm trying to go very professional. <laughs> Courtney Kardashian. Right behind Kim. <laughs> And the last one. Yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> last one. Here we go. Get ready. All right, I'm ready. I don't think you are. I don't think I am either. <laughs> I don't think you are at all. Because you're thinking too long about this. Shh. I've seen you dressed as him at Halloween. Prince. Prince, I would say, I mean, he's got an amazing house, probably somewhere in his house playing the piano. Ladies and gentlemen, that is What's the Business, and we are gone, baby! Peace! <laughs>